For 120 years, the principle has helped people keep more of the money they make and do more with the money they save. You work hard. We make work work hard for you. The Principal Financial Group. We understand what you're working for. How do we improve one of the best herbicides of all time? By giving you 30% more power to take out all your weeds. For around $16 an acre at the 32-ounce rate. Liberty Link and Liberty make the most of every acre. No matter what hybrid you plant, if the tag says Liberty Link, weeds don't stand a chance. Because you can use Liberty Herbicide for superior weed control with zero crop injury. Liberty Link and Liberty make the most of every acre. And welcome back. Time to get to the 130-pound matches. And here's the rundown, beginning with Class 1A. Jacob Peterson of Hudson, a senior, faces Keith Hefley out of Prairie Valley uh, with a 26-3 and three mark. In Class 2A, Robert Struthers of Emmitsburg, the senior, faces Todd Moen of Sadell, a freshman. A match we'll keep track of in the team chase as we continue. And at 3A, on the majority of your screen, Mitch Mueller of Iowa City West, the junior, facing Zach McCray out of Iowa City High, also a junior. Well, the match here on the on the big mat, uh, big screen here is going to be the 3A run, uh, 3A match. The, actually, the district match. These two guys wrestled in districts, which Mueller won in the gold singlet there, 14 to two, 14 to four. I've got it down here. Two different scores here. One, the the, the winner thinks it's more than the, the loser. <laughs> it's the, the <laughs> it's the funny how that happens, <laughs> huh? But uh, Mitch Mueller, one of the quality wrestlers here in the state, out of this uh, senior class. And uh, McRae, from uh, right down the road, basically, at City High School. These guys have wrestled quite a bit. But uh, he's followed him all the way to state finals. Mueller, in fact, third, both in 2000 and 2003 at 119. He's gone up two weight classes uh, this year as he's at 130 pounds. Yeah, he's really had a tough time. If I recall, he got pinned in the quarterfinals of the uh, uh, district and really has come back strong this year. And you saw a, a big double leg attempt here. Blue's opponent, Mac, 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 uh, or Zach McCray, right off the right, right off his feet there. And we'll see what he does here in the top position. You, you mentioned, Tim, that bottom match is, yep. again, important for team uh, considerations here. The uh, Struthers from Emmitsburg and Moen from Seidel. We saw Waterloo Columbus pick up team points a couple weights ago. Now Emmitsburg needs to fight back if Struthers uh, could pick up the championship. I've watched uh, Moen wrestle here a few times here from Seidel. He's coached by one of my former athletes, great Gary McCall, assistant coach with the Seidel program, and he's a real solid, uh, comes at you the whole time. So. He's the first Seidel finalist since 1972. I noticed that, uh, well, which is pretty, could have been a big gap there. The feeling won't be his last trip. I would think you're probably right, just a freshman. It's all Mueller here. 2-0. Made the decision to stay in the top position. 29 seconds left in the first period. You get a new start. Chopping the arm. Really has a deep type waist. And, you know, that, that, that when, you, when you're familiar with your opponent, what he can do in the top position. I mean, McRae is doing a nice job of coming up to his feet. Got to get his head up, hips out. Mueller has a nice lock there. Now it's up to him to take the opponent back down to the mat. Tries to do that by stepping into a, a, a legs, but uh, McRae's in a neck wrench situation, but they're going to call. That's going to be the end of the period. 2-0. And there's Edge. In this two-way match, just with three seconds left in the first period, Struthers of Emmitsburg finds the takedown to go up 2 to nothing. Head whip right off of the front headlock position here. That's big points right at the end of the period. Struthers, a uh, qualifier back in 2002, and he was fifth uh, a year ago at 2003 championships here. Emmitsburg, Armstrong, Ringstead. Now, Tim, you're from Emmitsburg, so uh, from what I hear, a lot of those Armstrong Ringstead boys have really done a lot to add to the program here through that they have. four year stretch. So. When I was in school and uh, Bob Rofler was the head coach at that point, it was uh, simply Emmitsburg that picked up Armstrong Ringstead. Uh, and indeed, they have uh, a couple of brother combinations over the years uh, that have been pretty uh, potent in the Emmitsburg lineup out of uh, Armstrong and Ringstead, making that drive every day. Uh, nice double leg or high crotch. Switched to a double leg, wasn't able to get it. Kind of attacked high at the leg here, Mitch Mueller. Looks like they're having a little bit of discussion about 
know what the somebody might have somebody, somebody might have some looks blood. like Mueller's out in front two to one though 128 left in the second period is to take a break interesting decision in the lower right hand match here Moen from Seidel in the green took the neutral position so he has to get after it lost an opportunity to get points maybe thinking uh, scouting Struthers out a little bit thinking he might have a difficult time getting out from underneath haven't mentioned the 1A match much. Let me sneak that in real quick uh, as we approach a minute uh, to go in the second period between Jacob Peterson of Hudson and Keith Hefley of the Prairie Valley of Gowrie. Peterson the second of three Hudson wrestlers to make the finals here tonight. It's a one-point battle. Yep, another undefeated wrestler coming into this tournament for Hudson. So Peterson, Peterson has the point advantage. Take down by Struthers over here in the lower right-hand corner here. So Emmitsburg is answering the call here with their finalist at this stage in the match. You know, so many times the team championships have been already determined coming into this night. It's an extra a boost there to have, a, especially when you got two schools that each have a couple of kids tit right. for tat. Yeah, and I don't know if it's been clinched or not, but the, uh, know what the, what the spread would be, but uh, I doubt it because the... No, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So Mitch Mueller, all, it's all him. Now he's in a whip-over situation here. Craig did a nice job of facing out of that, but put his head on the mat and allowed Mueller to go ahead and, and uh, follow him around. He did a nice job up until the point where he put his head on the mat and allowed Mueller to go around behind him. So it's all Mueller. He leads 4-1 to one. this stage. 20 seconds left in the second period. Um, uh, one a match a scramble. Looks like the Hudson wrestler. Nothing yet. Peterson may definitely hanging on and can't quite do it. Peterson adds to his lead there in the 1A, 5 to 2. 25 seconds left in the second period, and then they're on the feet almost. Bray back up. Mueller and uh he's got to decide to finish that technique, but he ends up uh, staying in the top position there, so it's four to one. Mueller, and I imagine he will take the down position. Struthers has picked up an escape to pad his advantage to 5 nothing now as we're into the early stages of the third period in that two-way match, which is at the bottom right of your screen. Struthers leads 5-0 in two-way. You know, this will be interesting to watch, watch Mueller in the gold singlet here. He basically has a left-handed high crotch. You look at his left hand, all right? That's, that's the shot he wants, that's the arm that he wants to lead his shot off with. A little tied up right now. Very confident in here. Ray. It's a head arm tie, making it difficult. The referee's going to call that a stalemate. So here we go back into the, uh, the match here. Neutral position, 5-1 lead. Single leg attempt by Mueller, comes up, perhaps tries to come out the back door, that's not available. Allows his ankle to be picked up, it probably looks like a stalemate situation. McCray had one of those, uh, one of the most thrilling matches, I think, in the semifinals. He won 7-6, got one of those kids that managed to get an escape in the last 16 seconds. It was kind of a uh, thriller. Well, you never give up down here. That's a, you never know what's going to happen. I've seen some, I saw some four-point moves with 12 seconds left. Uh, uh, that happened three or four times in the last Well, it happens section. every year. Yeah. You know, you just, sometimes it gets to be a point in the match where guys lose focus and concentration, and if you're concentrating, you just got to keep wrestling. You never know what will happen. So that's the, that's the message for Zach McCray here. Down 5-1, and he's competing in here. I like seeing that. Oh, dropped his head. Gives up the point, so 7-1 lead. Now Mueller's more comfortable on his feet. Got a blood time break in the 1A match, and the 2A match is winding toward a close. Struthers still leading. Moen of Sadel, 5 to nothing as we're with 20 seconds to go in the third period. And Moen is the type of wrestler. He'll keep on going hard all the way through and if he does that he might be able to catch up with back points and maybe get an extra team point. Scramble. Scramble. Nobody's got anything there but that'll do it. Emmitsburg comes right back at Waterloo Columbus in the 2A team race as Robert Struthers picks up a 5 to nothing decision over Todd Mona Sedell.
And Mitch Mueller is your champion over there with a 7-2 win for Iowa City West. Beats his cross down opponent, Zach McCray. Nice tournament for McCray, though. And in the 1A mat, I believe we have... Here's the, the mo here's the moment I like. Guys Bear getting... hugs all the way around. <laughs> Those are good times, good hugs. It's been a while since I've seen the coach go over backwards and land up on his backside, but I have seen it happen before. <laughs> 40 seconds left in the 1A match. 7-2 to two is uh, Peterson of Hudson, the senior. Looks like he will finish up his career 41-0 on his senior season. It's a 1A match that you see with Hudson's wrestler Jacob Peterson in the blue there. Keith Hefley of Prairie Valley Gallery in the red as time winds down. And he's just progressively kind of added to his lead. The athletes good physical looking specimen, so to speak, and Peterson puts the leg in. Now reversal, I, I like to see that there. Be the last guy to score, even if you're even if you're not going to win may this not have one, that's the champion, a good... but he's got a, a memory to take with him in the last uh, move of the match. He is go. a senior. Another champion for Hudson. Jacob Peterson. Undefeated senior. And for the 130-pound weight class medal winners, brought to you by Mid-American Energy. Presenting the Class 1A 130-pound award, Coach Wayne Haskovic, assistant coach of Hudson. Eighth place, Jared O'Reilly, Lennox. Seventh place, Nick Weber, Don Bosco, Gilbertville. Sixth place, Jeff McCurley, Logan Magnolia. Fifth place, Logan Queck, Nottaway Valley. Fourth place, J.R. Johnson, Lorenz Marathon. Third place, Adam Hargrave, Louisa Muscatine. Runner-up, Keith Hefley, Prairie Valley Gallery. And the 1A 130-pound state champion from Hudson, Jacob Peterson. The 140-pound finalists are waiting in the wings. We'll get to their matches shortly. We're about renewable energy. We're about investing in our communities. We're about keeping electric rates in Iowa as low as they are today, all the way through 2010. We're also about... Safety, energy efficiency. Keeping ahead of customers' energy needs. We're Mid-American Energy. Mid-American Energy. The Iowa Bankers Association give out an award to the outstanding citizen wrestler in the state of Iowa every year. That wrestler is recognized at the state wrestling tournament for that award. And when they recognize our students, it's because of what they contribute to their communities. And basically, that's what the Iowa Bankers Association is all about, too. Discipline, dedication, desire, determination, courage. We're extremely proud of the long relationship we've had with the Iowa Bankers Association. Presenting the Class 2A 130-pound awards, Coach Bob Kenny of Emmitsburg. Eighth place, Pat Blanchard, Glenwood. Seventh place, Mason Burns, Walk On. Sixth place, Ryan Byler, Winterset. Fifth place, Skylar Smith, Mount Vernon. Fourth place, Niles Mercer, Van Buren, Kiyosakwa. Third place, Corey Dwyer, Clear Lake. Runner-up, Todd Moen, Sadell. And the Class 2A 130-pound state champion from Emmitsburg, Robert Struthers. Joining us now for the high V taste of the tournament is Class 1A's 119-pound winner, Nate Barrington of Pocahontas. Nate, congratulations. You actually had to win the state championship as you went through a different round to get it, didn't you? Yeah, that's correct. You started at uh, a higher weight this year, and then you dropped, uh, dropped down. Yeah, I dropped down to 119. There's an injury at 119. I was at 125, and I thought it helped me and the team out. Well, you got a championship. You have to feel good about that. It feels awesome. Thank you very much. Presenting the Class 3A 130-pound awards, Coach Mark Ryland of Iowa City West. 
Eighth place, Eddie Leonard, Wallert Dubuque. Seventh place, Adam Manns, Council Bluffs Save Lincoln. Sixth place, Mike Nolte, Waverly Shell Rock. Fifth place, Luke Stamp, Lewis Central. Fourth place, Adam Schumacher, Dubuque Senior. Third place, J.J. Anderson, Dowling Catholic. Second place, Zach McRae, Iowa City City High. And the 3A state champion at 130 from Iowa City West, Mitch Mueller. The 78th Annual Iowa High School Wrestling Championships continue.